This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. So, being a huge English football fan, which I am, I've been trying to find something that doesn't take me as long to set up. And, uh, you know, Sabudio, my, my, one of my favorite soccer games of all time. And it, it's, it's a lot of dexterity and it takes up a lot of room. And it's hard to leave on the table, especially with somebody like me that's always doing, um, uh, 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 you know, having the tape and things like that and so forth and so on. I was just leaving that whole stadium up. But I found something that I can really use and, and have a good time with. And it is Counter-Attack, the football strategy game. This is really fantastic. This is unbelievable. Um, I, I, you know, it, it feels like football. It plays like football. It has some some really neat mechanics about it. Uh, I love the measuring the measuring sticks. You know, kind of gives you a little Warhammer feel, right? But um, uh, um, we're going to go down. I'm not going to explain all the rules. We're going to talk about it real quick, and then we're going to come back up, and we're going to talk about how much you need to go get this because it's really, really affordable. And in a day and age when things are a little tough, this is a great game to get. So without further ado, let's go down and check out Counter-Attack. So I'm not gonna explain everything, but uh, I, you know, <laughs> this is just fantastic, just the way it looks on the board here. Um, well, there goes the dice, right? I wanted to make sure I got those out. So what's gonna happen is one team is going to go and you're going to have all these players and they're going to have certain stats they'll have aerial abilities dribbling pace that's how much you move so for instance if i this guy uh, is going to move he moves at a pace of five i'll be able to move these squares one two three four five um as you can see there's a little thing here that that, that kind of uh, you have a, a certain grid here that you're going to follow for certain things. You're going to have resiliency, saves, uh, handling, high passes, uh, which you are going to measure. And if you want to make a high pass, which is the end here, which is the best, biggest pass that you could do, say this guy's over here, uh, you are going to be able to make that high pass. Uh, the way things move is everything kind of goes off of what you're going to have your actions. So, for instance, in, in during your movement phase, you are going to go first and uh, um, say we're starting the game. You're going to get the first thing that you're going to get is a standard pass. You'll be able to do that for free as long as nobody's blocking. So you do that. Boom. Now you're going to say, I'm going to do movement. And you're going to have different guys, uh, all 11 guys out here, along with your goaltenders. You also have um, uh, uh, <laughs> rotten refs, which are not going to be good. You're going to pick one of those that's going to rule the game. And then uh, you are going to uh, set up your team, lay it out, and then the team with the ball moves gets to move four guys for instance we already made that pass so i'm going to move back this guy three and then he'll be done okay and then i would be able to move up to four people okay then the opposite side goes and they get to move up to depending on their movement five people okay then you get to move two people uh for free and then from movement you would check on your card here what can i do after i do movement well i can go into another movement phase a standard pass phase a high pass phase a long pass phase a snapshot or a shot now when you come up against somebody or somebody starts to pressure you especially here in this particular thing you're going to roll two dice you're going to add his dribbling ability which is one okay uh against uh, another person's um, uh, resiliency, okay? Um, you know, how they're going to be able to take away the ball. You're going to add that to whatever you roll, and the higher number, if that person uh, tackles the person, you don't want to tackle them from behind because you have a chance of getting a yellow or a red card. But if you are able to, to take that ball away, you are going to be able to move anywhere within these squares and and take the ball away and now you have the ball and then everybody resets 
and then he starts with his movement phase or free pass person for instance if he has somebody here um, when you're going to be taking a shot you are also going to be rolling okay uh, he gets to move a certain way you're going to say I'm going to I'm going to try to shoot right here and he gets one the goaltender will always get one free move you will go against his saving ability okay and then you would measure to see if you are within a shot range or a snapshot range okay because there are certain abilities that you can do snapshots or maybe you have somebody over here with another person that you can do a possible header into that corner okay if you're able to successful uh, a lot of times when people are in their way you're gonna have negatives that are going to take off but all in all it is a strategic and fantastic game um, and and how it works is it feels so much like football slash soccer uh, the range finders are fantastic quality I always keep them in here to keep them safe um, and again this walks you through everything gives you any kind of things there's our additional additional moves the dice penalties it, it, it lets you know everything whenever you are trying something you'll know what penalties that you could do up to uh, minus two which is the most that you could ever take away this here is probably one of the best soccer games I've played that is actually a physical soccer game now there's 11 out there which puts you in a manager role which I think is really really fantastic and of course Subudio is the king of all but how many you know it takes up a lot of room if you want something that you can get out pretty quickly set up very quickly and get going this is the game for you counter attack I need to get all the extra stuff for it somehow some way but it's all over in England and it's tough enough another thing that you can do because you are going to be playing by time okay is uh, so somebody doesn't waste their time trying to outthink their moves you have the sand timer okay and that is going to restrict all their moves that they're going to make so it goes pretty quickly okay so it doesn't eat up another time you're going to play 45 minute halves uh, you can do this in an hour and a half or you can cut it down to 30 minute halves if you wanted to and and just you know keep it really really simple but keep everything moving with your timer or you know it depends on your skill level and everything. Maybe you don't want the timer and stuff like that. There are set pieces, which you, you will stop the clock for and add additional time for. And there's even when you do that, you're going to move forward a certain amount of pieces and stuff like that. Um, really, really just a fantastic, wonderful soccer game. So without further ado, let's go up top and get my final thoughts. <laughs> This is this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic. I love you know, and there's a couple things I really like. You, you know, you, you're going the referee. You know, you got to watch what you do and see what kind of referee you have, especially if you have an English referee who's going to pull a red card or a yellow when you really don't need it. Um, how many times did we get screwed? But um, I love the the I keep this and 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 what you're going want to do is with this you're going to want to laminate this. This is probably your more most important thing because once you do something, you are going to like a successful tackle. Uh, if you're going to do a successful tackle, then your next action it le lists out on what you're going to do. I really like that because it makes it easier to follow. Uh, the one thing I wish I wish it came with more players. Uh, I know there's expansions and stuff like that, but uh, uh, for me to get them over from England, it would be, number one, very pricey. Uh, number two, uh, I don't know why they hate my credit card overseas. Uh, I always get, uh, it, it'll never clear. And even when I call the bank and say, hey, I want to do this, it rejects it. So um, it, it's very frustrating. But I've been trying to find, uh, I believe, some of the expansions for this and uh, I will continue to do so uh, because I, I really think that adds to it. And then you can maybe like set up a team and, and have a league and stuff like that, which that's something I'm, I'm, I'm toying with. Uh, I need to get, a, you know, play a few more games and really get it down. Um, this gets my highest marks. This is fantastic. They have solo play. They have uh, solo um, uh, scenarios that you can play through, which are really great. 
and uh, it's and there's stuff online. There is a very good following for this, and I'm really liking what I'm doing here and playing. So definitely check out Counter Attack. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, you can get it at Miniature Market. It's absolutely glorious and gets uh, my highest marks. Man, I love sports games, and this is just another great one. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.